There are occasions when more than two forces are acting on a point, and it is in this instance when the resolution of forces method can be used. The method breaks down each force into individual horizontal and vertical components. These components are then combined to find the resultant force and angle of action. A force of 9 newtons acting at an angle of 60 degrees from the horizontal can be drawn as a right angled triangle. Sokotoa from trigonometry can now be used to work out horizontal and vertical components. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse can be used for the horizontal force. Cosine of the angle equals the adjacent face over hypotenuse or F1. The missing horizontal force is the length of the adjacent face. So by reworking the cosine equation, the horizontal can be found. In this case being 4.5 newtons. For the vertical force, so is used. Sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. This time the opposite is required. The opposite equaling F1 times sine 60, which gives a vertical force of 7.79 .79 newtons. The method of finding horizontal and vertical components becomes useful when a second force is acting. The triangle of the first force is joined by the triangle of the second, third or more. The forces need to be broken down into a horizontal and vertical components. The angle of interaction for F2 and 3 are both negative to the horizontal. So the cosine equation for the horizontal component of F2 uses negative 30. The angle of action for F3 is also negative. But more importantly, it is greater than 90 degrees. As the force is acting to the left of the point, the horizontal component is negative 2.6 newtons. We now need the missing vertical components. Both F2 and 3 are acting beneath the horizontal line of the point, so the vertical components will be negative. The sine equation of the vertical component of F2 gives a force of minus 3.5 newtons whereas the equation for F3 generates a vertical component of minus 1.5 newtons. There is now enough data to combine vectors. The combined horizontal component of the three forces gives a positive force of 7.96 newtons. The vertical equivalent gives a force of positive 2.79 newtons. The resultant force can now be calculated as we have the horizontal and vertical vectors. Using Pythagoras theorem, the total force is the square root of force vertical squared plus force horizontal squared. The resultant force is therefore 8.44 newtons. The last thing to calculate is the angle of action. The inverse tan of horizontal force over vertical gives the angle. The resultant angle is 19.33 degrees. The resultant force of F1, 2 and 3 is a force of 8.44 newtons acting at an angle of 19.33 degrees. The resultant force can be checked by drawing each individual component and stacking. The forces can be drawn to scale as 1, 2 and 3, 2, 3 and 1, or 3, 2 and 1. Each should lead to an identical endpoint, which if measured should match the calculated angle. An overlay of the calculated resultant force should match the scaled version.